Hey, 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 Taurus, what's going on? It is officially Taurus season. Thank you for stopping by. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Marvelous Madame. Let's get it going. This is going to be your May 2018, or shall we call it the Taurus season reading? We should be, what, about 20 days into your season. I apologize for the lateness. I was just trying to get a groove, Taurians. I was trying to get a groove, okay? It is officially your birthday season. This is going to be your birthday reading, okay? This is going to be a five-card reading, and we're going to be pulling three oracle cards that's going to represent uh, the mind, body, and soul, okay? The mind portion of this reading is going to be um, illustrated by the Angel Answers Oracle card. The body part of this particular reason is reading is going to be represented by a crystal. OK, if you follow me on IG, I do crystal readings by element every Sunday and I break it down weekly. Um, crystals are a huge part of my readings and I stand by them very much so. OK, and the soul part of the reading is going to be represented by the soul's journey lesson card. And this is what. You need to abide by for this month in your season, okay, in May 2018, that's going to give you the necessary messages um, that you need for your soul's growth, okay? I, I've already pulled those three prior to recording. I do have, uh, this is going to be a five-card reading if you've been listening to me now. Um, the five, it's going to be a little extended because I do have some astrological things to discuss as far as each one of these oracle cards. But I just wanted to break down a little bit about Taurus. So how my season, my zodiac seasonal readings will go since you guys will be the first one. I'll go ahead and break it down a little bit. OK, so it's going to start off with mind, body and soul as we go through those particular things or areas in your life. We're also going to give a little bit of a background on on what your element is, your astrological symbol. We're going to talk about um, your quality as far as whether you're cardinal fix, such and such and such. OK, so we're going to go ahead and get into it um, just to let you know how I do things there. Additionally, we're as I stated, we're going to pull five cards. Five cards is going to represent from the reading from uh, left to right, and that's going to represent two cards for the present past. One card that's going to represent the heart of the matter. The fourth and the fifth card is going to represent the outcome. We're also going to be infusing the bottom of the deck energy as we go through the entire month. And as each one of these mind, body and soul um, areas and infuse it all together. And hopefully we get a good reading. OK. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Taurus, as we know, it is Taurus season. Taurus birthdays are... April 20th through May 20th. So happy birthday. If your birthday has already passed, happy belated. Let's go. All right. So um, your element is earth. OK, you are the first of the four elements. Elements meaning fire, water and um, the air element. OK, your quality is fixed. Fixed is a quality. The other ones are cardinal and mutable. All right. Um, your best love matches, they say, are Pisces and Cancer. Hey. All right. Your astrological symbol is the bull. All right. You are the bull. We'll get into that. A few positive traits. Um, Earth typically keeps it real. Earth is grounded. Earth likes to remind us what a foundation is. Also, Earth lets us know that anything in, that is considered um, that could be grown upon, that can be expanded upon, that can be built upon, cannot do so without the existence of a foundation. OK, they're slow, steady, loyal, stable and determined. I will not get into any negative traits in the in the Taurus season. This is all about Tauruses. OK, we will not be highlighting anything negative. However, 
at some point, if you feel like you want to know my take on what a Taurus is, then maybe somewhere down the line, we can go ahead and do what I like and what I dislike about Tauruses. OK, but we're not going to get into that right now. Let's get into it. All right. So that was just a little bit of some astrology. All right. And also we're going to go ahead and pull these cards. All right. So you're going to hear me shuffling in the background. All right. I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling here. I'm going to go ahead and pull your five cards again. If you are not familiar, I'm going to be using the illuminated tarot. The illuminated tarot is a deck that was created that takes, takes the, um, concepts. Okay. The traditional concepts of tarot and combines that with playing card divination. All right. And Torians, as you already know, my bulls, I do both. OK, so let's get started here. You hear me shuffling here. So I have notes and things and I've done some research. Um, so just bear with me here and let's get back into it. All right. So sorry for the banging. I am heavy handed. Rock with me, Torians. Rock with me, though. All right. Rock with me. All right. First card. And that represents the present past is the king of spades. Second card that represents the present past is the six of hearts. OK, the heart of the matter is represented by the nine of diamonds. OK, oh, beautiful. First card representing the future outcome is the ace of spades. Last but not least, the six of diamonds has reared its head again. And if you go and check out my how does bay feel a uh, bay feel about you? We got a lot of six of diamonds. So sixes is the uh, number of this month for some strange reason. And I love it because six is a beautiful number. OK, so let's get started. Representing the mind, body and soul here, we have three cards. The angel oracle card is going to be representing mind. This is urging you, Tori Torians, to get more information. OK. There is a matter that you're dealing with in your life. As, and as I was uh, picking up on your, your energy um, energetically, I was picking up on a decision, some type of decision that needs to be made is what I was tapping into. OK. And I'm looking at the cards and I'm like, OK, so it's looking like you guys are struggling with some type of decision that needs to be made. Now, you know. I have Venus and Taurus as well as Mars and Taurus. So you can already, if you know anything about astrology, know how that can have its pros and cons as with everything light and dark. OK, but tapping into your energy and this is an overall general reading. OK, we will have some love in here, but I've already done how Bay feels about you. So I don't want to get into love too much because I want to do a separate reading at some point for love. OK. Um, I feel like that reading gave us some information on how our partners are feeling about us from a, a Zodiac perspective. So this decision could possibly have something to do with love. Any facet of your life right now, maybe you're looking for a new job. Maybe you want a new boo. Maybe, you know, you're not really vibing with or rocking with Bay like that. But Whatever the situation is, however this applies, OK, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. OK, that's what we're going to do. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. But let's keep it pu pushing. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is represented by the jack of spades. OK, and I'll get into all of this, but let's break down these oracle cards so we can go over what the theme is here. And again, I do think that there is some type of decision that needs to be made because this overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the jack of clubs. And that is the pursuit of a new venture. OK, so the answer angel oracles is guiding you Torians to get more information. OK, when you get more information, you'll be empowered. OK, because your crystal is the sunstone. All right. The sunstone is a powerful stone. OK. And then your soul's journey card that represents your soul portion or theme of this reading is honesty. OK, um, get more information and then you will be empowered. Once you're empowered, you're honest about the situation and honest with yourself. 
you can make the best decision for you. OK, we'll go into the cards in a second to see how this uh, situation turns out, whatever it is. But I want to talk about this um, sunstone for a second. OK, so again, the angel answer Oracle is stating, get more information about whatever this this particular situation is in your life that you need, are needing to make a decision about. This sunstone is a very powerful stone. OK, um, the sunstone is um, a stone that is going to facilitate transformation. It promotes rebirth. It dissolves any frustration, it enhances your optimism, and it changes your negative thoughts to positive thoughts, okay? I'm not sure exactly, again, what this um, decision is or what you're in your head about, but this is going to enhance or strengthen your solar plexus chakra, okay? If you're a little unfamiliar as to what chakras are, we can go over that in a separate video or you can go ahead and Google it. But again, this particular stone empowers the solar plexus. Um, just to give you an idea of where that is, it is below your heart chakra and right above the sacral chakra, which is around your belly button. So it's like in the middle, in the middle of the heart, sort of the stomach. So in the middle of the heart, but not below the belly button. So when I say in the middle, I apologize below the heart and above the belly button. OK, so below the heart chakra and above the um, the sacral chakra, OK, which is the belly button area. All right. So this stone, I would encourage if you guys can go and find it, do so. Um, if you decide to pick this sunstone up, just to give you some information about this particular stone, you can wear this stone as jewelry. All right. You can keep it in your meditation area. If you guys meditate, if you don't, I highly recommend it. You can also carry it in your pocket with you. And again, this stone is going to enhance you stepping into your power. Okay. If you have a lack of direction, energy and clarity, it's going to promote you to go, as I stated, and enhance your optimism. It's basically going to empower you. If you've been feeling like you're on the sidelines, now is the time to dance in your light. It's going to basically facilitate transformation. OK, that is what is showing up this month in your Taurus season reading for your body. OK. That's what you need to do in the body section. I choose crystals to represent body. I think that they all tie back together. OK. And last but not least, honesty. So once you step in your truth and dance in your light, I again highly recommend to go and get the sunstone. Um, the soul's message for you is to be honest. OK. The card states that I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I won't go into. Um, the official um, breakdown in the book, because I think it's very self-explanatory. OK, so now we got get more information. When we get that information, we will be empowered. Once we are empowered, we will be honest with ourselves. And that way we can make the best decision for us. OK, that's mind, body and, and soul. All right. Let's get into this reading. Our my Taurians, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is being represented by the Jack of Clubs. This energetically, you are tapping into this information. You're going to get empowered. You're going to be honest with yourself. And this is staying from an energetic standpoint. You are ready to, to, to branch out and pursue whatever this new venture is. Is it new love? Is it a new job? Is it a new house? Are you going to buy a new car? Something's popping. OK, something that's popping. And as I just told you, your solar plexus is popping, honey. That's what's going on. That's the card that's representing what 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 the guidance is from a body perspective. So the solar plexus is popping. You want to know any other information about any of that? Go Google it or you can contact me directly and we can discuss it. OK, now. The first card representing. Oh, this is fantastic. The first card that's representing the present past is the emperor. OK, the emperor. What do we know about the emperor? It's also a major arcana. The emperor is ambition, okay, authority, financial stability, or achievement. 
So this is letting me know that energetically as it's tying back to this jack of clubs, which I told you is you pursuing a new venture, you're going to be coming out of this, gaining all of this wisdom, your solar plexus is popping, and you're about to go ahead and get it, get it popping with this emperor. You're ready. Okay. You're ready to do that. You're, you're coming into your own right now, Torian. Okay. That's what's going on. Okay. Next to that, we have the six of hearts. Now the six of hearts. Oh, the six of hearts in this particular deck is the lover's card. Okay, so I'm already seeing right now, this might be a love reading. And that is not what I was trying to do. For some of you, we're going to keep it pushing though. It's, oh, it's a general reading. But for some of you, you're thinking this decision has something to do with Bay. Now, if we go back, if memory serves me correct, the Taurus, how does Bay feel about me? So how Bay feels about you already, Taurus, is they love you. And I think they're about to tell you, I think that was what it was. Forgive me. I've done about a million readings. So you don't have anything to worry about as far as how that person feels. But something, something, maybe you're in your head about something for some of you. It definitely has something to do with Bay. I mean, this particular emperor could indicate that maybe because it also represents authority, maybe this is you making a decision about a new job. But either way, all facets of the life is on of your life and any decision that you have to make in life is on the board here. OK, so let's keep it pushing. The lovers, beautiful card, six of hearts. What's at the heart of the matter here? The heart of the matter is being represented by the nine, the nine of diamonds. So the hermit, you went within on this and it, it actually, it, it goes with all of the cards. Remember the angel answer Oracle is telling you to get more information. And that's exactly what you did. The hermit is our second major arcana right next to the lovers, by the way, and right next to the emperor, three major arcana starting us out. I mean, come on. We know that this is divinely guided. If you've been listening to me anytime there is any type of major arcana this much, we already know. I mean, the first three cards out the gate. So the nine of diamonds is the hermit. What do we know about the hermit? OK, the hermit, <clears throat> the hermit is a card that represents that you had to withdraw. You had to take a break from the situation. You had to go within so you can try to get some wisdom about this situation. And like I say, for some of you, I think this emperor is a job for some of you. This is a situation about Bay. Um, that's what I see right here. If it had been any other cards, then maybe I would say it. But I think uh, maybe it's split But for a good majority of you. There's a split between a relationship and maybe a new job. OK, um, any type of authority figure you're you've either been made a job offer you're make you're trying to get gather more information. Maybe you're comparing two jobs to one, trying to figure out who pays more, who has the best benefits. But you're going to be honest with yourself about what your needs are and you're going to be empowered to make the best decision for you. We know that. OK, for this month, for this month of May. All right. And the first card representing the outcome of this is the ace of spades now the ace of spades in this particular um deck is focus and clarity so you are laser focused on the decision that's that's for sure this ace of spades is the equivalent if you see the picture that um this card is illustrated with this sword and there's a third eye which is perfectly tied to this nine of diamonds. You went inside. You went and tapped into that third eye. OK, your solar plexus is already popping, Torian, uh, Torians. So you guys are definitely coming into this, the, the coming into the mindset to make the best decision for you. And this shows success. You're focused and, and you are definitely laser focused. And when you went within with this hermit, you definitely emerge, you emerge with focus and laser focus and clarity. OK, and we end with this six of diamonds, harmony, cooperation. This six of diamonds is ending with a diamond. So for some of us, the heart of the matter is a major arcana, but it's also a diamond card. So from a plain card divination standpoint, 
Um, as I stated, a good majority of you, this does have something to do with a job. And either way, I show that you come out on top. This um, this ace of spades coupled with this six of diamonds is showing that there is definitely going to be cooperation either from Bay with this lover's card. OK. Um, harmony. The situation is going to be victorious. Remember, at the top of the deck, the overall energy was that jack of clubs. So the enth the enthusiastic pursuit of a new venture. So energetically. You're gathering all of the tools that you need to make the best decision for you for May. And as we see, it's going to be victorious here. OK, so if you need any more information as far as that sunstone is concerned, let me know. But Taurus is this has been your Taurus season birthday read, boo. And let me tell you, you guys got it going on. You got it going on for the month of May. I mean, some of you guys are about to tell Bay, let's do this. Some of you guys are about to say, you know, I want you, this job. Some of you guys are coming back with these diamonds on the spread and negotiating. It's definitely going to be some socializing. We come up, we come out of um, a, um, a sense of confusion and we go into making the best decision for us to get that bag or making the best decision for our hearts to be happy. OK, again, I do recommend going to get the sunstone, um, any crystals that you can get. Any type of crystal care, crystal questions, you can definitely hit me up. Um, I'm going to drop my email um, inside of the description below if you want any information, as I stated. Now, this has been your Taurus season uh, birth birthday reading. OK, thanks for rocking with me here on Marvelous Madame. Let's get into um, some of the logistics, please. If this resonated with you, great. Give me a like, share, subscribe the video to anybody who you think might rock with this if they're a Taurus. If you're cross listening, fantastic. This is what's going on with your bae, your boo, your mom, your brother, your sister, your husband. This is what's going on with them. Um, also, all of my new subbies, if you rocking with me and you liking my energy and you're picking up what I'm putting down, Go ahead and subscribe, as I stated, and um, book me, Tori uh, the Torians or Tauruses. Uh, Bulls, book me. Again, I'm a fellow Taurus. I do have Earth and my Mars and my Venus, so I understand. This is good for me. This means that I'm about to make a decision, too. So, hey, I'm rocking with this energy. Um, book me. My information will be listed in the description box below. I'm often all offering all of my new subbies 25% off of all of the readings that I offer. OK, also um, that information will also be linked. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, and you can follow that link and it'll take you where you need to go. OK, so again, I um, this has been a pleasure for me to do. I was really, really looking forward to what the energy was going to show. And I guess next month we'll be back with cancer, but I'm going to do a, a seasonal reading for each one of the zodiac signs when that season comes, typically at the beginning of the month, because I want to I like to allow a couple of weeks of the season to start so I can get the energy and try to tap in as to as many of the energies as I can. Maybe, it, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm getting two different stories here, but either way, it's successful. Um uh, you guys come out on top. So that is um, great news. Again, this has been your Taurus season reading for the month of May 2018. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me over at Readings by Marvelous Madame. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe and to my channel. And I look forward to bringing you more content in the future. Thank you so much. See you next time.